Have you ever been in an altercation with someone, an argument, and wondered why maybe your apologies or their apologies aren't working? If you've been in that situation, you're not alone. A lot of people experience that on a daily basis down to uh, arguments at the grocery store over who cut in line to people having road rage over people cutting each other off on the road to family members not seeing eye to eye. This is an occurrence that happens to people every day where they feel as though they're in the right and someone else is in the wrong and nobody's listening. I had a really powerful conversation with someone the other day about just kind of the state of the world and the way people don't listen to each other, differences in cultures and races and you know, systemic racism and all kinds of different pieces of the conversation. And the point the two of us came to was accountability. And I think it's, it's an extremely powerful art. There's a lot of wisdom in taking accountability for ourselves in our life. And when we're in altercations, arguments, or just don't agree with people, or don't see eye to eye, or have different opinions on life, you know, the important thing to remember is that if we take accountability for ourselves, if we take accountability for our actions, if we take accountability for our position in our community and in the world at large, we're going to be feeling pretty good, all right? And, and the reason I would say that is is because you know somewhere deep down in your core that you only have control over yourself, that you don't have control over another person, and when we start to take accountability for things, we, we start to practice acceptance, whether we know it or not. And I often work with my clients in this regard, and, and I've done a lot of this work myself, is that if, if I'm in the wrong, but I feel like, hey, you know, I've been wronged, nothing's going to set me free if I'm not taking accountability for my side of the street, if I'm not taking accountability for my part in it. And this, this really is the power of accountability is I could make a case for why a lot of different people have hurt me in my life, as I'm sure the listener, you could too. But the reality is, is I can't track down every single one of those people in my life who've hurt me and get them to admit that they've hurt me. Maybe they have a different version of the story. Maybe they feel like they didn't hurt me. I'm not 100% sure how every single person feels. I'm really not sure how anybody feels other than myself unless that person told me directly. What I do know is that I can hold myself accountable. What I do know is that I can own my side of the street and start to ex explore what I may have you know, done or the part I may have had in it. Sorry, one second. My, my pup is coming over here. What's up, dude? He's stretching. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Hi. All right. Sorry for the little intermission there. He's got my full attention. <laughs> but, you know, if, if I've done, um, you know, something wrong in a relationship, right, or a friendship or with my family members, I could take accountability uh, for what my part in it was. And not always. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying, oh, this is just a practice that I've perfected, right? It's, it's a practice. It's ongoing for me, and, and I walk with quite a lot of people in my clinical practice who are trying to do those things as well. But by owning their side of the street, they're able to, I, I would say, as I've witnessed, they're able to de-escalate a lot of situations. And I, I've witnessed that in my own life with people who, uh, you know, maybe having a hard time. Um, on the other end. And instead of taking their harsh words personally or their destructive actions personally, I start to ask myself, like, what's my part in this? Well, first and foremost, the part we're always going to find in uh, difficult situations is you're there, right? So if you're really not a fan of being in that altercation or that situation, you have the opportunity to remove yourself. And if you don't, that is your part in it. All right. Another part in it oftentimes is, you know, what I hear reported a lot from individuals is some sense of ego. Right. And, and I've I've been a victim of this as well, is that I feel my ego come in and my brain tells me that I know better than people. And the reality is, is, you know, even if I did, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to change that other person. 
And again, there's my part in it, trying to change and control the outcomes, trying to change and control people. And so if I can start to take accountability for that, that, hey, when someone hurts my feelings or does something I don't agree with or does something that's hurtful, and I start to think like, hey, I could do that better or, you know, I would have handled that better or even worse, I start to talk down to them, then I need to own my side of the street in that and realize that that those are my resentments those are my unresolved feelings that's my ego that's causing a problem and if if i can start to take accountability for that well there's my freedom there's the way where i can start to get myself out of those situations and maybe start to do a little bit better for myself and uh i've watched that work for thousands and thousands of clients over my my years in clinical practice and I know it'll work for any individual who's listening to this as well because it's, it's eternal wisdom. This has always been true since the beginning of, of human cognition that if you can take accountability for your own position and your own experiences and your own behaviors, if you can take accountability for that, you're going to be in a better place in your relationships, right? Because things won't be taken personally, right? People can do the things that they're going to do, and it's not personal. Now, I'll give the disclaimer because I'm sure a lot of people are listening to this and thinking, well, but some people really do some horrendous things, and you're absolutely right. And there are some situations out there that are really treacherous and tragic, and what I would encourage is is to get yourself support and to get out of those situations as quickly as possible if you're engaged with people who don't have your best interests at mind at all. Right now, we don't need people to have our best interests in mind, but if they're so much so not having your best interests in mind that they're causing you harm and destruction, then I would encourage you to get some outside support and find a way to get out of that situation as delicately and as quickly as possible. And if you're look, if if you need more support on on those kind of things, I would encourage you to look at some of the links that I put in my description in the video, so you can get more information on support in your area. And, and how to get out of really tumultuous or chaotic situations. Uh, but accountability is really gonna help with that too because if, if we don't take accountability for getting ourselves out of bad situations, no one's gonna do it for us. And that's extremely important to remember in our growth is that if I wanna make changes and get myself into better situations in my life, I have to do that for myself if I'm an adult. Right. When we start talking about children, that's a whole nother conversation because it is the adult's responsibility and those are conversations for another video. But if you're an adult listening to this and, and you're in a situation where you feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a bad situation or I'm around some people who are hurtful or at the very least just are doing destructive things that don't seem to take any uh, care or regard for me in the situation, then you got to start to make some changes to get yourself out of those places to get yourself out of those relationships. Um, and really the seed I would plant there is it's worth it because there are plenty of people who aren't going to do those things to you. Um, and, and there are plenty of people who want to build, build a better life. They want to be around you. Um, and we only get one of these lives. So I, I would just say it's, it's worth a million times over to get yourself surrounded by people who are doing positive things in life, who um, are building uh, for a better life for themselves and the people around them. And, and to be one of those people is it's just a really special um, experience to be a part of and to have in your life. And so if, if you're listening to information like this, clearly you're probably already on those kind of paths. And I would just, again, reinforce no matter where you are in your, your growth journey, no matter where you are and what you're feeling and, and how you're growing in your life, you will be in a better and better position the more you take accountability for your actions, the more you take accountability for your experiences, saying, I have a part in this. I am either part of the problem. I am part of the solution. I have a part to play, and here's what my part is. And the more you can... Uh, examine that. The more you can have mirrors held up to that, the more you can look at it, the better off you're going to be. Uh, as always, if you're struggling, I would encourage you to reach out for therapy. I would encourage you to, to look for therapists in your area. 
if you're struggling with substances uh, and have an unmanageable problem with substance use, I would encourage you to look into 12-step recovery support groups, Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, those are the people that are going to help you find long-term sobriety and lasting recovery. If you're a friend or family member of someone who's struggling with substances, I would encourage you to look into Al-Anon. It's a 12-step program for friends and family members of alcoholics, and they will help you find the answers on how to detach and how to better take care of yourself. But again, those are just my thoughts for today. I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, I think that's all we got for today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.